What if you're told that your child's issues are impossible to fix? What if you're told that there's nothing that could be done to help your child? What if you're told that your kid's issues are genetic and the whole reason why they're suffering, why they're disabled, why they're having their issues is because of their genetics? You see, everything that I've done, all the training that I have done, all, all of the research that I have done, everything that I do is to help kids who are supposedly impossible to help. Watching children suffer breaks my heart, and the greatest driver in the world for me is to help kids thrive, and for them to do the things that were impossible, seemingly. And I want to share with you a story of this little girl we're going to call Jasmine. We'll say she's three years old, and she came to see me because she was basically, her parents were told that there was literally nothing that could be done to help her. They were told that, you know what, she has this mutation and this little girl is never going to really be able to talk. She may be able to walk. She's probably going to be disabled to some extent in life. And that's just who she is. This is just how she is. And that's that's it. That's it. That's her story. And, you know, this wasn't from lack of effort. The parents had literally traveled the entire country, seen the top neurologists, seen the top experts in the country. So th these parents weren't just like, oh, well, that's, that's just what my kid is. Like, they literally spent thousands upon thousands of dollars trying to do everything possible to help their little girl. But conventional medicine literally had nothing to offer. And that, that's when they came to see me, and they're like, dude, whatever you can do to help our girl— it's fine. E even if she gets a little bit better, we're fine. And one of the things that was interesting about Jasmine was just her overall remarkable delay in development from early on. And she was kind of petite, and there were other issues that were going on along with her. And one of the things that stood out to me was this pattern of dysfunction. And one of the things with holistic minds, one of the things that I've learned to do that I'm giving to you through holistic minds is to become very good at identifying certain patterns of dysfunction. Because every single thing in the body, all of the weird things that happen actually all tell us something about the child who is suffering. And it turns out that Jasmine's issues, the challenges that made no sense to the parents, the challenges that made no sense to the other doctors, to the geneticists, to everyone that had seen her, actually were telling a story. And based on my experience of working with hundreds, if not thousands of kids, some of whom fully autistic, some of them on other areas of dysfunction, was that Jasmine's pattern actually said something. And it said that there was probably an issue with how she was able to get the B vitamins, especially B9 or folate, into her nervous system. It actually turns out that there's a immune dysfunction called a folate receptor antibody. So when we eat folate, when we take vitamins that include folate, that folate just doesn't automatically go into our nervous system. It turns out that that folate has to basically get on this shuttle and be transported into the nervous system. Now, if you can imagine what would happen to someone if the most important B vitamin, folate is the most important B vitamin, some would argue that, but I would say, and a lot of experts would say, that it's probably one of the most important B vitamins for the nervous system. Imagine what would happen if your kid could not get adequate amounts of folate into the nervous system, literally, like they're folate deficient in the nervous system everything would stop working, right? You need folate to create brain chemicals. You need folate to actually create dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine. Those are the chemicals that bring consciousness. It gives us energy. It brings awareness. So the kids that take Ritalin, like all of a sudden they're focused, Ritalin increases dopamine. It increases epinephrine to some extent. She wasn't able to produce serotonin Without dopamine, you don't produce serotonin. Without serotonin, you don't feel good. Serotonin turns into melatonin. You can't sleep. And this little girl needed melatonin to fall asleep. Ultimately, her nervous system wasn't functioning. And I, I looked at the pattern. I was like, she probably has this. And we tested her. And guess what? She had a folate receptor antibody. She had antibodies, which were basically plugging up. These immune reactions were plugging up her shuttle. So her shuttle couldn't take folate from her blood into her nervous system. Once we identified this, I told the parents to start giving her this liquid folate, except in obscene doses. She was getting 5,000 micrograms. So most multivitamins have like 50, maybe 100 micrograms. She was getting 50 times what you see in a regular multivitamin. 
Within two to three weeks, the parents called me and they were beside themselves. They're like, oh my God, she has started talking. Oh my God, she's starting to make eye contact. Oh my God, she's interacting with us. She's wanting to engage with us. And, you know, to this day, like it gives me shivers to think about what, what these parents had, that this little girl, this their little girl who wasn't interacting with them, who wasn't talking to them, suddenly started talking. And, you know, you may think like this is just, well, that's just a weird story. It's voodoo. It's not. These, this is basic science. Do your own research on cerebral folate deficiency. See what happens. It's a very specific pattern. And it just happened that this little girl had it, except no one somehow identified it. This little girl also had other issues. The parents are like, yeah, you know, she just likes to sit still. She doesn't really want to move. She really doesn't want to play. She just kind of sits there and is just kind of off in her own world. The folate brought her out of her own world because now she had the ability to produce the chemicals that allowed her to be awake, to be aware of life, to be able to experience life, which she wasn't able to do before because those things were lacking. The other part that was really cool is that when we gave her carnitine, and this is a, a, a supplement that's so easily found, when we gave her carnitine, you know what happened? The same little girl that was sitting there playing quietly, all of a sudden had the energy to walk and run and play and physically engage. Why? Because she was now producing energy for the first time. She didn't have energy to move. Except no one saw that. They were just like, oh, well, she has this mutation and this is just who she is. No one bothered to look to see if she had this issue. With a cheap, simple supplement like carnitine, which you can get for dollars uh, for a month's supply, that gave her the energy to be able to move, to gave her the energy to interact. But that wasn't the end of it. We found that she had fungus growing in her bowels and with this weird bacteria called clostridium growing in her bowels and we found that she has other imbalances and as we're working to address these imbalances i can't even wait to see what other version of her will come out the parents are already tickled to death they're like oh my god our little girl is now speaking in sentences within a few months the little girl that wasn't interacting with the parents that literally wasn't even making eye contact is now chatting up with them and having sentences and having all of this discussion. She's got weird mood issues, which is what we're now working to address. But the whole point of this discussion, the whole point of holistic minds, the whole point of everything that I'm doing, all of this time that I'm spending to try to put all of this out there is to give you this information. I want you to have access to everything. I want you to be able to understand why your kid is suffering. I want you to understand why your kid is not thriving. I want your kid to have access to everything they need so they can thrive and have an amazing life and be the best that they can be. Because I believe every child should have that. I don't believe any child needs to be disabled like Jasmine. I don't believe that kids just have to be doomed because modern medicine can't find the answers. Modern medicine is fantastic. I love it. It has its purpose. But why are we just obsessed with doing things one way? And that's the whole purpose of Holistic Minds. To help you recognize the pattern in your child. To help you understand why your child is suffering. And through that, for you to get the information you need to know what to do to help them. I hope that... Every child who is in the shoes of Jasmine, every child who has been told like, you know what, this is just how your kid is. Your kid has severe anxiety, but that's just what is. They're going to have this for the rest of their life. Your kid has developmental delays and sorry, that's just their lot in life. I want you to know that maybe, I can't give any guarantees, but maybe there, are, there is information for you to learn to figure out what to do to help your child. And that is my wish to you. That is what Holistic Minds is about, and that is what I want to give you. Thank you so much for listening. This is Dr. K.